Good evening. I'd like to call to order the third meeting of the 2016-2017 Common Council. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mayor. Nowadays, true job satisfaction and happiness is about fulfilling your full potential, tapping into your own creativity, and feeling that you can make a difference. Thank you. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Would the clerk please call the roll for attendance? There are 15 present. Alderman Damro is excused. Next, we'll move on to um, approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, uh, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion passes. Next is the mayor's appointment, city attorney. Thank you. I've got four appointments. Uh, the first one from the mayor submitting the following appointment for your confirmation. Alderperson Rosemary Trester to be considered for appointment to the Historic Preservation Housing Rehabilitation Loan Commission, term to expire April 27, 2017. Second uh, is submitting appointments to the Mayor's Neighborhood Leadership Cabinet from the Near North Neighborhood Association for terms expiring April 30, 2017. Joe Clark is the primary representative, Ryan Berg alternate representative. And then submitting the following appointments for your consideration to the committee structure subcommittee established according to resolution 165-15-16. Uh, all appointed May 2, uh, 2016, expiring April 17, 17. Uh, Mary Lynn Donahue, Salaries and Grievance Chair and Chairman. Joe Heideman, Committee of the Whole Chairman. Roman Drawn, District 2. Michael Vanderstein, Mayor. And non-voting members, Daryl Hofflin, City Administrator. Charles Adams, City Attorney. Susan Richards, City Clerk. And finally, uh, appointing Alderman uh, Rose Marie Trester to be considered for appointment to the County Emergency Medical Services Council for the term May 2016 through May 2018. Thank you very much. Those appointments will lie over to our next meeting. Do we have anyone registered for public forum? Not this evening. Okay. Next item is uh, Mayor's announcements. I'd like to start out with a proclamation. <clears throat> Whereas the Office of City Clerk, a time-honored and vital part of local government, exists throughout the world, and whereas the Office of City Clerk is the oldest among public servants, and whereas the Office of City Clerk provides the professional link between the citizens, local governing bodies, and agencies of government at all other levels, and whereas the City Clerks have pledged to be ever mindful of their neutrality and partiality in rendering equal service to all, and whereas the City Clerk serves as the information center on functions of local government and community, and whereas the city clerk continually strives to improve the administration of the affairs of the office of city clerk through the participation in educational programs, seminars, workshops, annual meetings of their state, uh, uh, county, and international professional organizations. And whereas it is the most appropriate that we recognize the accomplishments of the office of city clerk, I now therefore, Mike Vanderstein, by virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, to hereby recognize the week of May 1st through May 7th as Municipal <laughs> Clerks Week. I'll present this to our clerk, Susan Richards. And then the last one is uh, we have a skate park design meeting. This will be our third and our last design meeting. That will be held at the Kiwanis Field House on May 10th. And Santec, uh, the consultant, will present their design recommendations uh, for the skate park. Okay, next we'll move on to hearings. We have four hearings tonight. I'm just going to read them all, and then we'll uh, see if there's any speakers for them. 
Item 2.1 is a hearing amending the city's future land use map of the city of Sheboygan's comprehensive plan to change the land use classification of property located at 1524, 1526 Salmon Avenue from neighborhood preservation to employment classification. Hearing 2.2 is a hearing to amend the city's zoning map to change the use district classification of property located at 1524 and 26 Salmon Avenue from Class UC Urban Commercial to Class UI Urban Industrial Classification. Item 2.3 is a hearing to amend the city's future land use map of Sheboygan's comprehensive plan to change the land use classification of properties at 1413 Erie Avenue and 1416 Ontario Avenue. Item 4.2 is a hearing to amend the city's zoning map to change the use district classification of property located at 1413 Erie Avenue and 1416 Ontario Avenue from Class NR Neighborhood Residential to UC Urban Commercial Classification. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Chad? I'm not gonna give my home address, no. Um, I am speaking on Wait a minute, we have to treat you just like um, everyone else. <laughs> Uh, I, we've gotten some calls from aldermen about these two properties, and the, I just want to give a little point of clarification. Um, it's, what it is is it's a rezone of two properties and a changing of our comprehensive plan to reflect the rezone. The two properties are, well, the three properties, the, two, the 1524 Salmon Avenue is a property that's owned by Cautious uh, Construction Company, a couple properties uh, west of Imogene's on Salmon Avenue, um, Paper Box spe Specialty has a contract to uh, purchase those properties and do some industrial expansion. They're the large green uh, building you see on Calumet. The other properties are two properties directly west of the Starbu Starbucks at 14th and Erie. Uh, Starbucks has a contract to purchase those two properties. They're two residential properties and demolish them and expand the parking lot. And anybody that has uh, been a participant at that Starbucks knows that parking is very tight and there's a lot of issues with parking on the street. So they're hoping to get about eight to ten stalls off street parking. So they're looking to rezone those properties to... Um, expand the parking lot to the west and they're also looking at some future redevelopment opportunities in that neighborhood as well. So if there's any questions I'd be happy to answer them otherwise in a quick nutshell that's really what's being planned. Thank you for that information Chad. Is there anyone else who wishes to be heard? Alderperson Donahue. Thank you Mayor. I move to uh, close the hearings. Second. All those Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's passed. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda and include items 3.2 through 3.11. Alderman Person Donahue. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I would move to accept and file all reports of officers, accept and adopt all uh, reports of committees, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of the individual items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call a roll for passage? Actually, 15 eyes. Motion passes. Moving on to reports of officers, 4.1 is an RO by the City Planning Commission to whom was referred General Ordinance Number 53 of 1516 by Alderman Koth and Thiel, amending the City's comprehensive plan, future land use maps to change the land use classification of properties at 1413 Erie Avenue and 1416 Ontario Avenue from neighborhood preservation to community mixed use and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Thank you. 
14 ayes, one abstention. Motion passes. Item 4.2 is an RO by the City Planning Commission to his re referred general ordinance number 52 of 1516 by Alderman Koth and Thiel and RO number 130. To the 321 of 1516 by the city clerk amending the city zoning map to change the use district classification of property at 1413 Erie Avenue and 1416 Ontario Avenue from class NR neighborhood residential to class UC urban commercial classification and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on this motion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Motion passes. Item 4.3 is an RO by the City Planning Commission, whom is referred General Ordinance Number 50 of 1516 by Alderman Koth and Thiel, amending the city's comprehensive plan for future land use maps and change the land use classification of property at 1524 and 1536 Salmon Avenue from neighborhood preservation to employment classification and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. <laughs> Item 4.4 is an RO by the City Planning Commission to whom is referred General Ordinance Number 51 of 1516 by Alderman Koth and Thiel and RO Number 320 of 1516 by the City Clerk amending the City's zoning map to change the use district classification of property at 1524 and 1536 Salmon Avenue from Class UC Urban Commercial to Class UI Urban Industrial Classification and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Move to accept and file and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for the motion and support. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Nice. Motion passes. Moving on, items five, excuse me, 4.5 through 4.16 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, items 5.1 through 5.7 will also be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, Item 6.1 is an RC by Law and Licensing to whom was referred RC number 375 of 1516 by Law and Licensing and RO number 311 of 1516 by the City Clerk submitting various license applications and recommends that the Beverage Operators License Application 1058 be denied based on her failure to accurately review all relevant convictions on her application or record of violations related to the licensed activity, her record as a repeat law offender, and her failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Is there a Tanya Hussey here? Tanya was invited to our committee meeting on two occasions, and she was a no-show on both times, and um, the committee voted four to one to deny her license. Thank you very much. Any other discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen eyes, one no. 
Motion passes. Item 6.2 is an RC by law and licensing to whom is referred RC number 375 of 1516 by the law and licensing committee and RO number 311 of 1516 by the city clerk submitting various license applications and recommends that taxi cab driver's license number 0465 be denied based on his failure to accurately review all relevant convictions on his application, his record of violations related to the licensed activity, his repeat, his record is a repeat law offender and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Is Curtis DeWitt here? Curtis was invited to our committee on two different occasions and didn't show at either one and the vote was unanimous with the whole committee to deny his license. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Thanks. 15 eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.3 is an RC by law and licensing to whom was referred RC number 375 of 1516 by the law and licensing and RO number 311 of 1516 by the city clerk submitting various license application and recommends that taxi cab driver's license application 1032 be denied based on his failure to accurate reveal all relevant convictions on his application, his record of violations related to license activity, his record as a repeat law offender, and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alder Person Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Yes, is Fernando Gomez here? <coughs> Mr. Gomez was invited to our committee on two different occasions and did not show up either time. Um, it was unanimous that we deny his license. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> 15 eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.4 will be referred to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Under ordinances, item 7.1 is an ordinance by Alderman Lassard, Drawn, Herman, Jose, and Trester amending sections of the municipal code as to add additional exceptions to the restriction banning Class B licenses from being issued to premises where businesses and other than the sale of fermented malt beverages is con conducted. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I ask that we suspend the rules. Is there any objection to suspension? Second. Seeing none, please proceed. Um, we would like to get this ordinance passed as this particular um, party is going to be for painting parties, but this happened to be a woodworking um, event. And she did come into our committee. And we totally believe that she understands that all the rules that apply to having a beverage um, license in like our restaurants and our bars. She understands the rules completely, and we um, all agreed that we should change this ordinance. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion, and, and, and a second that. of support. <laughs> Under discussion, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Attorney Adams, is this uh, change that we're making, if I read this correctly, this is uh, to comply with a new state statute also? Correct. It just simply brings our ordinance up to date with the state statute. Okay, thanks. Thank you for the, that question. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> 
15 ayes. Motion passes. Item 7.2 will be referred to the Public Works Committee. Other matters, City Attorney? There's one other matter. It's an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2016 and June 30, 2017. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. Next is a contemplated closed session. Alder Person Donahue. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor. I move to convene in closed session under the exemption contained in Section 1985, <laughs> Sub 1, Sub E of the Wisconsin Statutes, for competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session for the purpose of deliberating uh, uh, regarding long term strategy regarding city owned property known as the Armory. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Would the clerk please call the roll for a closed session? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. We'll take a brief recess till 25 after the hour and reconvene. Thank you. And for our viewers at home, we will not be coming back after closed session. We'll be adjourning in closed session.